All right, guys, I'm going to try to record this maybe in like one take. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not using my GoPro. I'm just using my phone. So whatever. Fiesta is looking great. It's got ceramic coated detailers products. Give them a follow here. Me and Justin, really good friends. We both kind of tackled it together. Uh, we fully paint corrected the Fiesta and it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at the paint. Look at the reflection on that paint. It is absolutely gorgeous. We used a uh, beadlock ceramic coating on it. I know typically you guys see I use Adams Polishes. Detailers Products is his business. Um, he uses Shine Supply and he uses Eco Auto Clean. Uh, obviously, we support, we try to support everybody, but we're also good friends with Justin. So we went to a shop and uh, fully paint corrected. It looks so good. It's a little dusty because it's been in the garage for. I don't know, almost a week or so. The ceramic coating is cured and it's looking fantastic. Julie is gone to Oregon and I'm just kind of on my own for the next two weeks. I am going to pick up a replacement laptop for editing. Guys, it is so hot outside. I don't want to record. I don't want to stand outside and record things. So we're just going to go for a little ride and uh, we're going to hop in the i3. I'm not taking the Explorer because Julie will probably yell at me. There's also some garbage in there I need to get out. <sighs> Hopefully she doesn't see it. All right, so like I was saying, one, I wanna say thank you to everybody uh, for subscribing. Um, we just hit 9,000 and you know, you know, for me, like I never would've thought, I don't do YouTube for a living. I've been just making small videos for the past, I don't know, um, you know, since the S550 came out uh, back in 2014, I've been making videos off and on, just kind of dabbling in different types of media. Uh, shooting media for you know like s3 magazine if you guys scroll back far enough in my youtube you can kind of see the stuff that i've been doing and you know since since we have been uh doing content whether primarily on instagram or you know youtube uh, i've just kind of had a wide variety of whatever we've purchased i've made content some of it's worked out great um you know the s550 stuff was really what put us on i guess on social media uh, when it first came out and you know things have died down you know I guess some people could say I don't know I you know we've kind of become irrelevant over the years which is fine you know this isn't my career uh, but some of you guys have stuck around and I uh, really appreciate it and you guys really take heart uh, to what I say and what I recommend um, which brings me to the point that like you know I haven't posted a lot of content on YouTube lately just because you know, I'll be honest with you, my dad passed away uh, the day after Thanksgiving last year. And, you know, things kind of changed for me after that happened. Obviously, you know, dealing with family things and adjusting to all that, it, it's a lot for somebody to kind of kind of take on, right? Um, it's, it's just a lot. So don't want it to get too heavy in this video, but, you know, I have kind of stepped away a little bit from the content and you know we did pick up the explorer we did pick up this bmw i3 which like i said i absolutely love um i took it down to florida and uh, it was a great road trip super comfortable um it's been an amazing daily driver and like i said if it stays reliable it'll stay in our fleet if it isn't or if we get bored with it or something better comes out uh we may trade it in um but yeah i mean you know we're gonna be making content i for the explorer uh you know, when we first bought the Explorer ST, um, there's a long-standing joke in the forums that a lot of people buy the Explorer ST for their wives, never for themselves. There's a few of us out there, and, you know, when it came to uh, purchasing a, a different build to replace the S550s, we wanted something with bigger power potential. Not like a 1,000 plus, right? But then, then again, we never took the S550 through a 1,000 plus. But we wanted something fun, and it just made sense for us at our where we are in our life speaking of sts that is the most disgusting dirty st i think i've ever seen that is absolutely crazy i don't know where and they're from florida that is wild absolutely wild so anyways so you know when we bought the st uh you know i wasn't totally on board with it i, I didn't really completely understand the potential of the Explorer ST, how it drove, how it felt, especially with the tune. And it has completely changed my mind 
on the platform as a whole. Um, performance SUVs have always been kind of a, <clears throat> like, it's, it's an interesting topic to talk about because you don't see tracked performance SUVs. You don't see a lot of street racing videos. I mean, there are a few content creators out there, Tyler Clark, you know, they run their stuff pretty hard. There's people pushing that platform pretty to the bleeding edge of what, you know, tuning can offer and all sorts of different, uh, you know, things going on with it. So, you know, the Explore ST is something that we're gonna be dedicated to. You saw the video, we got the uh, front mount intercooler installed, we got the tow links just installed, aligned, we got the diff brace, we got the full downpipes exhaust. And uh, yeah, love the platform. So we're gonna continue making content. I'm gonna see if I can get some runs with some other people. Uh, we're gonna try to maybe hit up a drag strip in the fall. I don't like racing in the hot weather. I just, I don't like driving in hot weather. It's just not fun for me. The Ranger, you know, some people have said, oh, are you gonna get the new Ranger? And I will, I can safely tell you, as of right now, the Ranger is not gonna be traded in for anything. It's, it's paid off, uh, it's got all of our gear on it. It has been a very reliable truck for us. It's been good to us. So I don't, trading it in for an XLT would be a major downgrade, um, unless we maybe got the Raptor which even then we're not buying that Ranger to be fast, right? Like it's not, we're not buying it to be fast. I'm not gonna be drag racing the Raptor. You know, we have the Explorer ST with the same powertrain and drivetrain. Yeah, like it's still gonna be an Overland build. I don't see, it. it's not worth it to me to trade in for that, right? I already have a built truck. Now what's to say that maybe down the road something might change, we might have an offer for the truck be able to keep most of the gear. And then I just build another Overland build. Um, that's a possibility. I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to say that none of that can happen in the future, but I can tell you right now, we're almost at 60,000 miles on the Ranger and she has been fantastic. So we have more trips planned. There's another Ranger right there. Really cool. It's cool seeing the more of them on the road. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're going to be keeping it you know, we got the i3, we got the Explorer, and obviously the Fiesta is gonna be a, a big focus for this channel. Once I get certain parts on it, I'm gonna be registering for some track days. You know, the track nights in America are gonna be a big thing. There's a new track opening up in uh, Tennessee that I wanna run. So the Fiesta is gonna be a part of that. You know, we're probably gonna trailer the Fiesta up to maybe a track night up there. Who knows? I, I don't know. Like, it, it's just, there's a lot of stuff up in the air with the builds and a lot of YouTubers, what they tend to do is they will, they will hop on the train of modifying whatever they think is a popular platform. They'll get followers from it. They'll retain some, they'll lose some. That's their business, right? That's their job is to keep up on trends. I'm not here. This channel isn't here to keep up on trends, right? If you follow me because you like the Explorer or you like the Ranger content or you know, you're interested in the Fiesta content or hell, if you want me to talk about, I don't know, I highly doubt anybody would, but you know, EV, like my thoughts on EVs, cause this is kind of a EV slash like gas powered vehicle. Um, there's been talks of us getting a podcast up with some of the, you know, top I guess I don't want to use the term influencers, but the top people you might know on Instagram or YouTube that are really kind of in tune with the communities for these platforms, right? No advertisements. Like this isn't going to be, oh, well, you know, someone's going to hop onto a podcast and just talk about a product the entire time. No, this is going to be real talk about like what the industry is moving to. We may do that, right? I'm really curious if you guys want us to do a podcast on that, you know, it might be once a month. It might be once every week or so. I, I don't know. Right. But if you guys are interested in a podcast like that, where we talk about the different EcoBoost platforms, what's going on with the Mustang, you know, things going on and you want to hear our opinions about that, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about that happening and we'll try to get it on Spotify. And then of course we'll have a separate channel for just the podcast and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, like I said, I'm just recording this on my phone. I, I know I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just going to pick up um, a laptop to, to start 
continuing more content creation since I old, sold my old MacBook. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are doing well. If you want me to do more videos like this, this is pretty easy for me to do. Um, just to kind of talk about things going on. Let me know too in the comments. Like, I don't know, right? There's 9,000 of you on here. Maybe like 10, 15% of you watch the videos because there's people that I subscribe to. I don't get to see their notifications or whatever. I Sometimes I forget that I subscribe to them. But if you guys want me to do more videos like this, I can definitely do it just to talk about a topic or two. And then I'll, I'll just start posting up more opinion um, and thoughts about things that are going on, whether it's in the Explore SD groups, Fiesta, or just in general in the industry. So I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, I will catch you later. Bye.